you guys and welcome back to a new episode of Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy Part of the Jack and Daxter HD Collection on the PS3 Last episode we did Boggy Swamp This episode we're gonna get go to the next area in the game We fight the claw guy and then go through Mountain Pass and everything And maybe there's still a mountain I'm not sure I know we're gonna get hit the volcanic crater on the way so Let's talk to Kira So I'll be right back So powerful. That's so great. <laughs> uh, of course, Daxter. One thing I find interesting is you have, you have like get. I mean, you only need forty-five power cells, but like pretty crazy that like you have a bunch of power cells can power up basically to blue ego. To lift a boulder. You would th it's interesting it's blue eco that lifts the boulder though. Like you would think it would be like was it red or yellow eco or something like that would lift it. But I guess blue I guess blue because I guess, I don't know. I mean I guess it makes sense because the blue is the blue states is hot. Gotta look oh my god, this would be a good eco. Would this be a good thumbnail what? This would be a, oh, this would be a good thumbnail white right here. Oh wow, that would be. <laughs> Maybe that could be a thumbnail, I don't know. That or I have claws as a thumbnail. <laughs> like like white hair could be. Oh yeah. What's funny is like so far in the majority of Let's Play, I didn't just default thumbnails instead of uh, oh jeez. What's funny is this guy can predict where you're going sometimes, but sometimes the AI can be so stupid and shoot it in the wrong way. But it looks like he's doing doing pretty good. Oh, I said like that one right there. Oh boy. Basically, this is the boss claw and everything, and basically we need to battle him to get to get get to vo the volcanic crater. Which is basically where the red stage is, is at. Basically, we just had to shoot him in basically, you know, the quatch area. <laughs> basically, we shoot him in the quatch. Basically, he just shoot, then he shoots out a giant boulder that hits him in the head, and then we run back toward, then we run back this way, and then we just do the recycle two more times, I believe. I think one thing I do is I like to get in the middle one, so just in case if he decides to go, go shoot it, just in case, like that. See. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, we didn't start with we didn't start with full health, didn't we? Oh boy! We didn't start with full as well as that. Oh boy! We start with the, we we got hit once, didn't we? Already before we started this episode. Oh yeah, because part what part was that what it was from last episode? To be honest. Uh, now here's phase two, sitting on the clock. Well, yeah. We're good though. The thing is, it, he gets, he does get faster and faster. So, uh, so yeah, we're screwed if if he was screwed if you know. Basically, gotta be really careful here. I love I love the lava. I love the lava. Oh boy, like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I died. Basically, now we had to start at the beginning. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it wastes it wastes his time. Maybe it gives us time. Thankfully, he does go slower. Like, obviously, one thing that sucks is that just do, you have to do it from the very beginning, but I mean, that's fine. Oh boy. Ooh, somehow I didn't get hit at all there. That's pretty great. I think part of the reason why I kind of I would only died here because I didn't start with, uh, I didn't start with, you know, a uh, full full health. <laughs> like, God, met, this would be, I probably had to defeat on my first try, but I'm not for full health, to be too honest. Bam. Boom. And I can't just keep rolling back toward us. Man. Woo! Yeah! What is that guy doing now? Wah! Come on. The boss fight's pretty... The boss fight's actually pretty fun. God, how the guy knew that? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's funny that he... <laughs> he just he just not know where I was going. But yeah, it's just this boss fight's actually a pretty fun boss fight. It's actually one of my favorite. Like it's, I think it, I think it might be my favorite boss fight in the entire game. I mean, there's not that many boss fights in Jack One, but like, it's pretty fun. Like I mean, Golden Miles are are pretty is alright, but and I guess the 
I guess the weakest is probably the plant guy, but the plant, plant, the plant in the Fruiting Jungle is not that bad. But this is like really, that's one of the mini boss. This is like actually a real boss fight though. Like, it's weird how there's like really only two boss fights in this game if you think about it. Like, it, 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 it really is. <laughs> oh boy, he knew where I was going. Is this the second one or the third one? This might be. Oh, I think. Yeah, this is the third one. Be really careful here, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think. I think we're good if we hit him. If we hit him right here. I think we're good. Step back in the case. Yes, we did it. Nice. Man, we get, we almost died there again. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Declawed. Haha, <laughs> nice. Declawed. Great work. The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. Use your zoomer to navigate the mountain pass up ahead. Be careful. It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. I would definitely do that. I also love how I also love how uh, the was uh, I can't I can't turn the camera, but those pat those like little locks thing appeared, or, or the path to the mountain pass appeared once we defeated the claw. I mean, it's, yeah. Now we had to waste the lurkers to the volcanic crater. Basically, this is a pretty fun one though. Let's see if we can do this on first. You guys, imagine if I did this on my first try. That'd be great. Oh god, we can't get hit at all. I mean, it doesn't really matter because like, how well, does it go down either way? Oh jeez, no, I didn't. I did not do it my first try. <laughs> that definitely not. Oh, well. see, see, those are one-hit KOs though. So you know, that thing is like, those explosives are one-hit KOs. <laughs> uh, I don't. At least those are the little. I think the little just smaller boxes aren't that we have seen all the way throughout this game. Anyway, the laws of the world are small. Dark Eagle boxes aren't one hit KO'd, but you know, death KO'd. Oh, no, well, I did the same exact one, didn't I? That was the exact same one, wasn't it? God, this is it's gonna be fun. Ah, get up, get up there, get up there before they come back. Alright, this can be a little tricky, alright. Um, I mean, it's weird how I died twice in the world at the same spot. Basically, the Blue Eagle does help because the Blue Eagle makes us go faster. I love how the like, Blue Eagle actually makes uh, the Zoomer also go faster. I mean, we'd have collected it, alright. Oh boy, be really careful. Oh boy. Oh, oh I missed oh, miss a bunch of orbs. I can go back for them though. Oh boy. Oh. oh man, I missed a bunch. Oh man, I missed a bunch there. Uh, might, what I might do, what, this is what I'm probably going to do is, uh. Oh boy. Yeah. Come on, oh, come on. But yeah, okay, we're, we're, okay, this one, this one's pretty good so far. Imagine if I, uh, oh boy. Oh, I missed a bunch of orbs right there. God, I missed a ton of orbs in this area. Just trying to beat them. Might be able to get all scout flies, though. Without, uh, without dying. Yeah. Boom. Oh, missed that orb, but I don't care. Is that the last scout fly? Nice! Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, no, you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, we blow up the pass. Welcome. But, but we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to try to collect everything real quick right here. Uh... No thank, no thank you. I'm going to go back so we can go back to the beginning. I do have to say, if we do die, we start at the at the very end of the checkpoint. All right, what I should have done is uh stop, got the last scout fly, and then you started. Oh, well, oh, well, I mean, I guess it was a banner. Uh, there's also pals up there. Uh, we had to get, we had to unlock some like yellow eco vent in Snowy Mountain, <laughs> basically to to get to get to get to it. So uh. 
So, I mean, we won't do that until probably the, like, until we do the Spider Cave episode, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't want to miss. I mean, I'm getting, I mean, I could. I guess I could get orbs when I come back through here. But I mean, it doesn't really. It doesn't really matter, really, because like, oh, so this is a path. This is also a pathway up here. Did we? Did we? Did we miss any orbs jumping to that thing again? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm trying to think. Did we? Oh no, we got. We got. We got all of them. Oh boy, we got all of them. I love how you can just take the path back toward it. I love how I love you can do that. Whee! Oh, Joe, you don't want to get hit. We gotta be really careful though coming back though. So uh, hold on. All right, all right. Or what orbs are we missing? We're missing a few more up there. Yeah, we're missing a few more up there. All right. All right. So there's that orb. Let's see what else we're missing. Oh, there's the orbs that we're, there's a lot that we missed. This is the one that we're missing. Yes, we did. Nice. Now let's go back toward. Nice. We got all orbs. Sweet. No, I, the reason why I kind of you know kept it along where uh, in the same episode is the orbs. So you know, so people who want to watch this can like just view the episode and see like because imagine if we missed like a lot of those episodes and we didn't get them in the same episode. Yeah, we'd be like, why you didn't get all the you didn't get all the you didn't get all the orbs like. Oh yes, I did. I'm which I mean, I mean no. I think oh no. I might have actually. I might have forgot. Plus, I probably have forgotten by the time we go back for that power cell. All right. Oh boy. Boom. 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 Woo. Yeah, I think this might be a shorter episode. It's already quite a bit long for for a. Like if it were, if it didn't last that long, it, if the episode was like a little shorter, like if we didn't miss any of those orbs right there, or there wasn't a cutscene coming up coming up with the red sage, we probably could have done the stream out. But it's already been like twelve minutes, so probably a short episode. What does this be like? A really long episode of volcanic crater. I might do. I might do. What I might do. I might get all those cow flies in this area as well. Nice. Welcome to the volcanic crater, guys. We're in a giant volcano, basically. Volcano of death. Anyway, let's let's shut up and open the gates, shall we? Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of dark eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos! Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark eco of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. 
The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Great bowls of eco. There seems to be a large liquor presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? <laughs> there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Right. <laughs> Kill it time. Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Oh wow, okay, okay, that's basically... What? <laughs> I don't know what that was. But welcome, welcome guys, welcome to the Volcanic Creator! Oh my god, camera, camera, camera! Why am I like this? What? Oh my god, look, what is the camera doing? What is the camera doing? <laughs> oh my god! Look at this, look at it! Oh my god, whoa, that, 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 okay, that was pretty cool, that was pretty epic. <laughs> the camera is well, being really weird. That could be a, on a short. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> oh, there's no look. We'll look at these. Looks like look, look at this. Another one of these guys. How many? We, how many we got? How many we got? Ah, camera! Gosh, do a camera, man. Okay, we got another Oracle guy. Like I said, I think I'm gonna complete a volcanic crit in this episode. Obviously, we're not gonna snow mountain because it's already been like 17 minutes. <laughs> this is not that long, short of an episode. I thought it would be a shorter episode than this. Maybe, it, maybe it would be a decent length episode. I don't know. Maybe it seems like it will be. Also, there's a pathway to snow mountain, by the way. Oh my. You better that. Basically, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Oh, looks like we got uh, plenty to get to get the Oracle guy if we really want to. Um, this 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 way is the path to you know Spider Cave. Spider Cave. <laughs> oh, I'm just yeah. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh boy, oh boy. BAM! Oh boy! Where, where did he get? There's, there's the one waiting. Her <laughs> camera can be really annoying. At least, at least you can control the camera for like, uh, imagine like those fixed cameras, like golly. And get some games. At least this game camera can move for you, can turn the camera on around, which is nice. Spider Cave, which we're not gonna do. 399. There's also this thing. That's actually not a pers persical orb. That's actually a power cell, which we need to hit yellow eco with. Well, I think we do have to get another mountain no matter what first, because I, I don't think the yellow the yellow sections are open in uh, Spider Cave, the yellow eco vents. When, um, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess I'm not exactly sure on that, but look at all these orbs right here. These are all, these are a lot of orbs right here. Look how many orbs there are. Come on, how many are there? 414. Probably. Alright. Oh, it's probably some orbs this way. I love how. Basically, you had to get on these cart things because, you know, because you can fall you can fall between the. You can fall between the little uh, things. Um. Is there. Sorry. Alright. Do I even have 70? Oh. I got 69. <laughs> I got 69! Nice! Lava tube. Basically, this way is lava tube. I don't think there's any orbs this way. Basically, we basically this is lava tube. Lava lava tube. See, there's no uh, Shakira and our zoomers not there because we need 72 power cells to unlock the next to go to the next to the final area of the game. Basically, that's the final area of the game. But uh, I believe we can just die too. So can we start near the? Yeah, we can start right here. Sweet. Is the gondola? Boom! Oh boy. I believe there's some more. Yep, yeah, some more. I think these are the last orbs, aren't they? Yep. 420. Nice. 50. 
of them. Where, where is the, there's a the scout fly. The last scout fly. Nice. I'd like to point out that this game also we can trade four power cells. Nandy eats for four different power cells, which is a lot of orbs to trade, but I mean, you get four of them, so I mean, you need it to, to get 100% this game, obviously. But also, I'd like to have to point out, like, they basically have 12 more years to dig. But, like, think about this game came out in 2001. So, uh, by 2000, if it takes place, you know, I mean, obviously, it doesn't take place in modern day or anything, or you know, in a modern world, even the modern world takes it in a world, but. Like, think about it, uh, this game came out in 2001, and if somehow this game takes place in modern day, <laughs> like, did Jack just did a trick, <laughs> but, uh, like, they would be done digging in 2013, so that means eight years they have been done digging. Makes you wonder what they'll, what, what they'll be doing, what they did, I guess the only if they were, like, only to, like, be witched by now, I, I don't know, anyway, anyway, let's trade the orbs for them now. Yup, we got, we can do all four. One thing I find is very interesting is all three times he says the same thing. <laughs> like all three times. What? What? That's the first one? Here's the second one. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs. Power cells for orbs stores. Uh, he just says the exact same thing. I kind of wish they kind of added different dialogues every time, but it's like, you know, it's, at least the last time they changed it up a little bit. Funny is after the after after getting all these pa after we get after we get all these we have enough to go the next day to get through the one too. And there's the final power cell on them. Basically, we, basically, like you said, they have no more power cells. We can just talk to them. That's interesting, now. Why don't you two make yourselves useful? Lurkers have been excavating the dark caves over here. Seems they're looking for precursor artifacts. They can have the artifacts for all I care. For all we care. Well, it feeds your part. All I care about are gems. I ain't gonna be able to get the cave gems, cause when they're through, they're gonna collapse the place. If you take out the lurkers chewing out the support beams, you could save the cave for me. Now beat it! <laughs> nice. Basically what he said, uh, that's like one of the things we can do in Spider Cave, basically. So yeah. Basically, I love how they just give us like information about like certain areas that uh, they wanted us to. They say we don't have enough uh, orbs. Yeah, we've only got 60 orbs left. But I said we, yeah, that's only like half the orbs that we need to get one power stone from the local guy. Crazy how much it takes. I've the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Let's do it. Let's go Snowy Mountain. We're not doing, yep, going Snowy Mountain. That means we're going Snowy Mountain. No, we're not doing Snowy Mountain this episode. Can you imagine if we did Snowy Mountain this episode? That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty great. 
I'll probably save it up for the next episode, though, obviously. Because it's already been like... I guess this is not that long episode. This is actually one of my longer... Jack, one episodes. I'm surprised how, like, how long it took us to do all that. I was thinking maybe the chance of kissing them out. Nah, but I'll save that in the next episode. Maybe the next episode will be short. I don't know. <laughs> I say that, but watch this being like the really long episode. Welcome to Snow Mountain, guys. So I guess I've been Green Coast Gaming. And yeah, I see you guys in the next episode. Green Coast Gaming Talk. Bye bye. <laughs>